Hey guys, it's Erica, and today on our channel we have a very special guest. We have the creator of the Z palette, Zena Stasel. Thank you so much for coming. Of course, thank you for having me. Of course, makeup artists all around the world, everyday women, we love your palette. I mean, I don't know how we would get anything organized or do anything without it. So thank you so much for being of here. Of course. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Beauty Blender too, so this is super, super exciting. Oh, cool. So I think what everybody really wants to know is what inspired you to create the Z palette? Well, I'm a professional makeup artist, so I really wanted to carry everything, all the makeup as a professional. You have all different brands and sizes that you're working with, and I just was really into organizing and getting everything into palettes so that I didn't have to carry everything on my back going job to job to job. And there was nothing really on the market at the time where you could just kind of fit any size, any brand into a palette. One day I was just like, why is this not available? I just got my light bulb idea. It's like a serious luggage that these makeup artists carry around. I don't think a lot of people know. Right. So I'm sure like the Z palette kind of, I mean, I'm, you're still gonna carry tons of things, but it kind yeah. of eliminates having to go through and find that color exactly. that one, in that one case you have at the bottom of your makeup case. So, I mean, yeah. that's a, it's an amazing tool. And speaking of inventing, I mean, I know a lot of people when they get their ideas, sometimes they are working out or they're in the shower. Is there somewhere specific that really you get your best ideas at? The shower is a good one. Yeah, and just clean. quiet time in the morning. <laughs> yeah, or at night. And no babies around. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so even the department head of makeup on Dancing with the Stars mm. for 18 seasons, which is amazing. Is there any specific or any particular makeup look that stands out in all those seasons? I yeah. know that's kind of hard to pick, but yeah, actually, well, I do have one because it's been kind of recent that it does stand out. Is um, Rumor Willis was on our show uh, she last was season. She's killing it. Yeah, and um, I got to do her makeup for the season. She's amazing. But we had a Disney episode, and we made her into um, Ursula, the sea witch from um, Little Mermaid. Yeah. Like we literally airbrushed her all purple, like head to toe, and did the beautiful eyes and everything. It was just, it was fun because she was completely purple and it was really beautiful and it kind of pushed me like outside of my typical, you know, kind of dancing with the stars look. So it's definitely one that stands out and it was a lot of fun. So Z Palette mm -hmm. and Beauty Blender are both in Sephora and you also are longtime friends with the creator of Beauty Blender, Rianne Silva, which is pretty awesome. Yes. Do you have any advice for young entrepreneurs who want to get into the innovative side of the beauty industry? Really, you should just do it. Like if that, if you have an idea, you should go for it. The one thing I say is just, you know, definitely research, do your due diligence. If you're gonna work with manufacturers and stuff, especially overseas, like really, you know, research and know what you're kind of getting into. But definitely don't be scared and do it. Just starting your own brand in general can be a scary thing, but I think yeah. the creator Beauty Blender and you are a testament that it's possible. You guys are both makeup artists and yes. you guys have transitioned into the product side of that, which I think a lot of makeup artists dream about doing it and they're kind of hesitant. Yeah. So you said that you're a fan of Beauty Blender. What would you say your favorite product to use at Beauty Blender is? I mean, definitely foundation. Right. Yeah, <laughs> foundation, but I love it for contouring, you know, highlighting, I mean, I mean, what can't you do with the Beauty Blender? So customization seems like a key component of your brand. What's in your everyday Z palette? Uh, everything. <laughs> um, I've got like, I've got my trusty palette that I literally use every day. And it's got probably like four or five eyeshadows, a blush, a bronzer, a powder. I've got a couple concealers. Damn girl. A lipstick. <laughs> oh, and a cake eyeliner. Mm -hmm. So you just walk around with your face just yeah, so oh, now when I need to go touch it up, it's like, <laughs> it's right there. I just need a couple brushes and I'm good to go or I take it with me when I'm traveling and I've got that and a few brushes, like, you know, maybe foundation bottle and stuff and then Well, I guess, you, yeah, you're like ready go. to go for anything. You have yeah. five eyeshadows. I mean, you can go from day to night to exactly movie premiere to the beach to anywhere. Yep. <laughs> and then if I want to change it up, you know, I could just take one out, put the next one in and like, so that's my, you know, that's what I want to take with me on this trip or that's what I want to touch up or, you know, my different look for the day. But yeah, I have my kind of like go-to shadows and stuff that it's all in there. So everybody knows that there's a lot of dupes out there. I mean, Beauty Blender has mm -hmm. their own dupes yes. and or admirers, as I like to call them. Um, and I know that Z Palette does too. So 
How do you keep your originality or how do you not allow that to bother you? Does it bother you? Really where we stand out is quality. Like we really care about the product, you know, we really care about the materials in it. And that is where we stand out, you know, on our service and our quality on the product. So, you know, you probably aren't going to get that with the copycats. It's true. And I think also if some people might be inclined to buy the dupe because mm -hmm. like it might be a few dollars less mm -hmm. but then they'll end up being like well why did I buy this it's already broken right so just spend the extra few dollars and get the real thing guys because it makes the difference say no to knockoffs so you just recently launched a kiosk right yes. in front of Sephora at the Westfield shopping mall in Sherman Oaks which I got the opportunity to check out which is really cool can you tell us what you do at that kiosk we um, depot your makeup we basically organize your makeup so you can come Bring us all your makeup, yes. drop it off, go shop, go eat, and come back and it's gonna be all neatly organized in a Z palette. Even if you have palettes at home, bring those. But we're gonna take the products from the packaging, get rid of all that excess packaging, and organize it. Put them into palettes. You can do it with your eyeshadows, your blushes, your bronzers. We'll detube lipsticks, we'll what? detube concealers, put them into pots so you have everything there accessible right in your palettes and we just we do that for you that's so you amazing to, yeah you like, don't have to worry about it and just literally drop it off and we'll take care of it that's like a dream come true that first of all that's like a makeup artist dream come true yeah. but also you know just the everyday girl too like we need organization too exactly. for sure and that's I don't like I've never even heard of it, that before it's so no, innovative and yeah right in front of Sephora that's Rhyme location. So congratulations. That's amazing. Thank you. We've got new devices that we've, you know, developed for the whole depotting mm -hmm. process that will really make it easy for um, anybody to do it themselves too. Um, and that will be coming out soon. We call it the Z Potter. Ah. And that will be coming out at the top of next year. But in the meantime, we're using them in our kiosks to depot everybody's makeup. So they'll have a choice whether you want to do it yourself. You'll have a cool device that will really help that process to be easy or you can just come and drop it off at our kiosk and we'll take care of it for you. Can we like see your Z palettes? Do you have any new little Z palettes we can yes. check out? Yes. Well, actually we just, I'm super excited. We just launched the mini Z palette. So <gasps> oh definitely take God, a look at that. So it's super cute. cute. And you can fit like eyeshadow, little lip gloss, little concealer. We've got empty pots where you could fit up to like seven lipsticks in there. It's really like a little touch up on the go palette because of their size. They make like really great gifts. This and the is price like point's perfect, awesome. like Christmas uh, yeah, stocking, stocking stuffer stuff for, for sure. Yep, and you can gift it to somebody with a couple little, you know, eyeshadows in there and bam. Yeah, and it fits in like a clutch, it can fit in your yeah. back pocket, it can fit anywhere pretty much. This is, this is genius actually. Thank you. Yeah, we're super excited about that. And, um, and one little sneak peek, real sneak peek, because this is not available until next year. Mm -hmm. So it's the new Mirror Z palette. So it's really cool because you still have the empty magnetic base, which you know all Z palettes have, and the clear window. But then now you also have the little mirror cool. that you can attach magnetically. So nice. literally you just go touch up, touch up, bam, I'm done. Put your little mirror back. And now you've still got your clear window that you can see all your products inside and it's a really cute mini size that you can still fit in your purse and your right. bag and take it on the go. I love it. So cool. Thank you. Yeah. So excited. So we asked some fans to send in some questions on our Instagram that they wanted to ask you and we're going to choose three people and whoever you choose is going to win some Beauty Wonder goodies so choose wisely. Mm. Who's the lucky person? <laughs> Painting Faces by Mitch. How many favorite shadows or blushes have you lost to depotting? What did you do to save it? In my time of depotting, I'm sure I've lost a few, but I do use my 99% alcohol trick, <laughs> which you just saturate the shadow with the alcohol and just use your spatula and kind of just smush it back together. And once it once the alcohol evaporates, it's kind of back to new. So oh, cool. it works, yeah. I need to do that with my blush that I broke yesterday. Oh yeah, don't throw it away <laughs> if it like, if you ever drop one or like it cracks maybe in depotting, you can pretty much save them. Awesome, so next one. It's a big one. Sykes Moore, will you ever make a circular palette? No plans for that right now. Okay. <laughs> Possibly in the future, who knows? Okay, last okay. one. Amy Choi, 
What advice can you give for aspiring makeup artists? Understand that, you know, it's a lot of fun, but it, it's a lot of work too. So just kind of be open-minded, be willing to work hard, be willing to, you know, do long hours, you know, but you have to really love what you do um, in order to do makeup. Thank you so much for joining us today. I learned so much in this little time that we got to spend together. Make sure to follow Z Palette and you can also follow me at Erica's BB World. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.